Welcome to this product video demonstrating the SolidEdge file control application which provides efficient and simple management of SolidEdge data. For the SolidEdge user, file control delivers a simple setup allowing you to be up and running within minutes, instant search capabilities on SolidEdge properties, instant where used to find which assemblies a specific part or assembly is used in, instant where drawn to find the draft files for specific parts or assemblies, Bill of Material Information, Instant Visibility of Interpart Links within a Part or Assembly, Bulk Property Editing and so much more. Let's take a look at some of these capabilities. Once File Control has been installed, we simply need to tell it where our Solid Edge files are stored. This is done by selecting the Add Folder command. We can then browse to any folder on our local machine or network. This could either be our top level solid edge folder or any subfolder within it. File control will then automatically and recursively search through all subfolders and very quickly gather all the information about all the solid edge data it finds. This includes all property and link information. All of the information is stored in a compact database on the local machine. This database is automatically kept up to date with any changes that are made to the solid edge data. This is perfect for use in not only single user situations but also multi user environments where many people are accessing a central solid edge data store across a network. Once complete, the folder and its structure will be present in the left hand pane of file control. This can be browsed just as we would in Windows Explorer. We can add as many top level folders as we wish. And that's it, no more setup is required. File Control now has all the valuable information about your Solid Edge data it requires. All the power of File Control is now at your fingertips. A common requirement when working with Solid Edge is to find files. Solid Edge provides out of the box tools that allow us to search for files using any property text they may contain. For example, we may wish to search for all files that have a specific material or project name. The problem with this is that the searches are extremely slow since the only search method available is a file system crawl. In fact, these searches are so slow it is often quicker to simply browse for the file manually using Windows Explorer. File control overcomes this by allowing us to search the database of valuable information that was captured at the setup stage. There are two types of search, basic and advanced. The results of both are instant. To perform a basic search we can simply enter what we are looking for in the search field at the top of the screen. The results are then displayed in the window below. A basic search returns files which have any property that contains the search term. Selecting a file reveals a preview window on the right hand side. Any properties for the file are shown in the pane below. Once the desired file has been found, a simple click will enable us to open it in Solid Edge for editing, or alternatively we can place the part into the current active assembly. These options are also available in the context menu. Now we'll perform an advanced search. This allows us to narrow the search down and look for files that have specific properties that match a series of search terms. We can choose the scope of our search with respect to the folders we've added into the library. Pick any solid edge property, define a search rule and enter the text to search for. We can add as many criteria as necessary. In addition to this, we can narrow the search down using a date or file type filter. Notice how we get a dynamic feedback in the bottom left of the dialog illustrating how many files match the search. We can also save searches and retrieve them at any time. We'll give this one a name. And then perform the search. Save searches can be retrieved from here.
A task often performed in Solid Edge, especially when undertaking a design change, is a where use search. This allows us to locate the assemblies, drawings and parts that are affected by the change. Once again, Solid Edge provides us with the ability to perform where use searches, either directly within Solid Edge or in Revision Manager. As with the property searches though, waiting for the results can be painfully slow, and once done they are only single level. This means further where use searches need to be done to get the complete picture on how multi-level assemblies are structured. File control overcomes this by giving us instant visibility of where any part or assembly is used. Once the part has been found, we can simply select the Where Used tab to reveal the results. We can see that this compressor casing is used in three separate assemblies. Selecting each one gives the appropriate preview. If we move to the Structure tab, we can see a multi-level Where Used showing the complete hierarchy. This is because we are viewing it in the upwards direction. This gives us great visibility on the assemblies that will be affected by changes we make to this part. Any file selected in these panes can easily be opened for editing in Solid Edge or placed into the current active assembly using the right mouse context menu or the commands at the top of the screen. If we want to change our focus to another item in the structure, this is easy to do by selecting the Go To command. This now becomes the selected file in the main window. Back in the Structure tab, we can use the down command to view its complete structure of subassemblies and parts, along with quantities for each. In addition to this, the BOM tab displays the file names, quantities and titles of the components in the current selected level. In addition to finding the assemblies that use a part, we may want to find any affected drawings so they can be updated after the changes have been implemented. Again this is extremely simple. All the information is just a click away by selecting the Where Drawn tab as shown. We can see that this assembly is detailed in one single draft file. Going back to the Structure tab, we can use the Show Drafts command to see which assemblies and parts also have associated drawings. If we hit the Show Links command, this will illustrate the parts within the assembly that contain interpart associative links. If we focus back on the property panel, we can see that when a file is selected, it shows any of the property fields that have been populated with any information. If we wish to see all property fields, we can hit the Show All command. This now lists all the available Solid Edge properties, even if they do not currently contain any information. Using the Options dialog allows us to turn the display of various properties on or off. These were automatically captured during the Add to Library function. It is also possible to modify the properties within this panel. We simply double click on a field, edit the text as required, and then hit Accept or Enter. It's as simple as that. In addition to changing a property value for a single document, we can also perform batch replacement of property values. To show this, let's start by performing a search. We'll do a basic search that will find all parts that contain a property of mild steel. In the results window, we'll select a group of files. Here we can use the standard Windows functions of Shift or Control to multi-select. Then we can choose Edit Property of Selected Files. We'll take the material property, enter a new value of stainless steel, and then process. The new property text will be applied to all files. We can also use this method to add new custom properties to any files. Sometimes it is useful to create a drawing register of draft files so that they can be quickly edited or printed. Here we'll select a folder in the library. We know that this folder and its subfolders contain a mix of parts, assemblies and drawings. We'll hit the Include Subfolders command so we can see everything. Then moving to the Drawing Register tab, we can see that the list is currently empty. To populate this with all the draft files in the current selected folder and subfolders, 
we simply need to hit the register command. This will display all the draft files within this structure, along with a drawing number and title, both of which have been retrieved from the model properties. Printing is just a click away. File Control also has the ability for users to define favourites, much like Internet Explorer. This is handy for locating files that are needed often, like those that are needed for the current project. To add a file to favourites, simply right click on it and choose the command from the context menu. We can then choose from one of our existing folders or simply add a new one. The files can then be accessed via the favourites drop down menu as shown. This makes it very quick to access the file we need. The Favourites Centre also provides a convenient way of navigating our files, as well as adding new folders or deleting existing ones. As discussed in an earlier video, file control will handle working in both single and multi-user environments. Let's focus briefly on a multi-user environment. Let's assume all our data here is on a central network share that many solid edge users have access to. We'll navigate to this engine parts folder. Notice how some of the files are shown in a red color. Also when the files are selected, their properties are shown in red. This denotes that the files are currently open or right locked to other solid edge users. The significance of this is that file control is telling us that the information about the file may not be completely up to date since it may well have been changed by the user that currently has it open. File control will protect these files and will not allow us to modify them in any way until they become available again. We'll now assume that the user editing the parts has now saved and closed the files. When File Control next performs its automatic synchronization, the updates will be visible to us. The synchronization frequency can easily be set to a predetermined interval as shown here. Or we can refresh our database at any time. This is what we'll do here. We would now be able to see any of the changes that were made to the models and their properties.